Hi, this is a demonstration, small demonstration of a system that I converted for a company that manufactures portable sawmills. Their, uh, their home is uh, Missouri, Kansas City. As my oldest customer, I'm going to give you a small example of what I converted from Clipper uh, version 5.2 to XBase plus plus express plus plus uh, version 1.9 I'm going to show you first a small section of the old clipper program okay this is their system it's a very large system I can press the F10 function key and I have another menu that expands more and more but right now I'm just going to go to the very first uh, very first uh, option in the main menu which is customer sales order lookup that's number one so I put it on number one and I press enter and here I enter as you can see I can enter the ID the name, the phone number, etc., etc. Uh, we have an account that we play a lot with, and that's one, two, three, four, five. So I enter that one, two, three, four, five, and I press enter, and it shows me information about that account. This gentleman's name, Ralph Stans, and here you see all, all the orders he's placed over the years, and some of his information like telephone number, address. Uh, if the credit card was retained or not, etc., etc. Okay, I can go up and down the menu and pick up any transaction. I'm going to pick up this one, three four seven one five six. Place a cursor over it and press enter. And here is social information on that one transaction. Okay, here you see uh, the order number when it was ordered, when it was shipped, uh, location where it was shipped to. And uh, prices of an uh, item, totals, etc., etc., uh, and a lot more information. Now I'm going to show you uh, my conversion uh, up to this point from uh, Clipper 5.2 to XBase++. Let me get rid of the screen here, and and I name all my programs starting with the letter X. That way I can, uh, I know right away so that it's XBase++. Plus plus. So I call this one XWood. The original program here is called NewWood. It was originally called Wood, but I modified it so much through the years and changed database systems. And so I ended up renaming it NewWood to differentiate it between the very old version and the newer version. But this is uh, the one I'm going to start as the XBase++ plus plus and mostly Express++ plus plus version. Okay, it's called XWood. Okay, here I started it. Okay, this particular company's got two large divisions. One is Woodmaster, which is the largest division, and the other one is called Timber King, which was the original division. Over here, I'm just going to sort of keep it on Woodmaster, and I'm going to press Enter, tell it to look for the data on Drive C, because they are operating in a network and it could be located in, in several places but over here this is my computer so I enter C and then I press enter and over here you will see a quick flash screen okay you saw how quick that was okay one of the things I did there is I checked that all the databases in use are available that they are not corrupted that the indexes, uh, sort orders are proper, that are working correctly. If any of them was uh, damaged or missing, it got recreated on the spot. As you can see, you didn't see anything flash by except the logo, which means everything was okay and ready to go. I may have made changes uh, to the databases themselves if that's needed. Maybe more than likely added new fields or changes, change the size of a database field. Okay, I'm going to go to the same thing I just showed you a minute ago. I'm going to go to applications, and this is a typical menu. Uh, 
Windows drop down menu and here we go to the master menu and the customer sales order lookup and click on it. And here's pretty much where I enter the same information that I enter in the other program if you remember. Okay, I'm gonna go once again to one, two, three, four, five, press enter. Okay, this particular number could also be a zip code. So it tells me, okay, which one are you working with, the account number or the zip code? So I choose the account number and I just press enter and then I says here it shows you where it says account number was chosen and then I just go on OK. And then it looks for for what I show you in this all screen here. Uh, I'll go back and this is pretty much what I show you on that screen. Here you see the name of the person, the transactions down here, which you can go down and pick up whichever you wanted you to show. I'm gonna go back to the dust program, the clipper program, and see I was working three, four, seven, one, five, six. So I'm gonna go back to my screen here and and highlight it. But over here is also where all the other information uh, regarding the customer uh, demographics like the name and the address, telephone number, and other information. I'm sure I added a lot more information over here than it was in the original DOS program. Uh, and I go to, uh, there's a number, 34716, as is the order number, and here I can uh, edit the account, add an account number, view account, and transaction history, and add comments, and I actually I gave them the ability to create a, what I call a file repository right here where they can store any files pertinent to the account related to it so they can have it all in one location. Uh, but I just, I'm going to do the same I do it here. I'm going to go to 347156 and double click on that. And here you see pretty much what I saw on that on the Clipper program when I select 347156 and press enter. So that's pretty much the same information. Some of it they found out they didn't need and I might have removed it from it and some of it I probably add. This has been a long time, I cannot tell you exactly where, but that's if you see any difference, that's what happened. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and go back to my XBase program and click exit. Uh, this is a pretty neat feature. I can I can click right, uh, use the left mouse button to make the text bigger, and that's how it will print. Or I can right click on it and make it smaller, and that's how you can view it and print it too. But right now, I'm just gonna. That's I believe that's a standard size that it comes up, which is uh, a Courier 10 uh, font. I'm gonna click on exit, and here you can see where I can add a. I, I can uh, go to transactions, for example, and I can add transactions, print transactions, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I can go to the bottom of their transactions, to the top of their transactions. I can add a transaction. By default, it gives you today's date. And here I can uh, press the F2 or click on this little button and select the date. It goes to today's date. And I'm just going to go OK. And here I go effective day, it's usually the same one, the transaction code. Once I get over there, I can tag the transaction code from a table by clicking on this button or transaction record. And I just, I just select whatever it is, uh, collection charges, for example, okay. And then a transaction amount, which might be, I don't know, $50 and related invoice. That's very seldom happens but they can actually just t t uh, pick up an order number here if they want it. That almost never happens. The check number almost never happen, and maybe some comment to it. And then I click OK, leave invoice number empty. It warns me that that's what you're doing. And I'm gonna go say yes, leave it empty. And then click OK, and transaction was added. Okay, you can see the difference. Uh, a lot of difference between a Clipper program and a Windows program. Of course, this has all the all the ability that a Windows program gives you. Which, for example, I can minimize the whole thing at one time by uh, clicking on the screen. 
on the main screen. I can resize the screens. Uh, a lot of one of the things I do for everybody is that I can they can go to user utilities and I give them their set of utilities. Uh, one time I wrote a chat program so they can actually chat between the people that are used in the system. Uh, the administrator, if he needs to do any maintenance, they, he can uh, uh, put a flag on it and he puts the system offline and he gives them several minutes for them to log off or get booted out. But this pretty much the, it's a, a pretty neat tie group so they know when they're going to do anything. Okay, I can initialize window coordinates that, that says that all the windows go best fit in the middle of the screen. Uh, and because I have written so many things three times, I can convert weights and measurements. And here you can see who's using this program, which at this time is only me. Uh, if there was anybody using it, I could chat with them. I can do uh, all sorts of things through the years. Uh, I found it uh, very useful. Uh, but this is a typical uh, Xbase Plus Plus Express Plus Plus uh, system that I developed. Uh, I, uh, of course, this, this is a Windows application. I can do more than one thing at a time, as opposed to a Clipper, where you could only do one thing at a time. I can go over here and do a product search by zip code. At the same time, I was looking at the customer, and I, I can enter a zip code here. I don't know what your zip code is, but I'm going to enter mine, 32413, and, uh, and it uh, tells me the coordinates, latitude and longitude, because this is based on a GPS. And then I enter a product list, and I can, I can choose the product list, and what they do here is they take packages. The numbers you see are individual product numbers, but they 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 give them package names like P, S, D, uh, and P is the biggest one. That the 712, 718 are their largest sawmills. Uh, so I just go with that one P, and it can show you uh, within 75 miles if there's anybody. The, well, apparently they haven't sold any of those particular uh, products are around here. If I was to do somewhere around uh, Kansas City, believe me, they would have a lot of them because that's where they get started. But over here, they, there's no portable uh, sawmill places. Not at least that they use that particular product. But anyway, I hope that this gave you an idea of, uh, of my typical work. This is pretty typical. Uh, I developed uh, several systems that look pretty much like this. This is like my skeleton system. So I'm just going to close out out of both programs and quit this presentation. So exit, and I'm going to cancel slowly. And I have the ability to just click on exit here, and it's done. This one over here is just Clipper. I can get out of it by pressing escape, 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 and escape one more time, and I'm out of it. Well, anyway, I hope this helps and, and you enjoyed it. Thanks.